Hello you, welcome back to Geekism. I absolutely stink of bleach. So, um, apologies if I sound a little bit worn out. I, uh, <laughs> I was meant to be recording from about two hours ago after spending the, uh, the early morning bleaching some rocks. That's not a euphemism. We keep tropical fish and, uh, and giving them a good clean and one part of that requires uh, bleaching some of the rocks to get rid of some of the algae. Uh, the buckets I was using decided to split halfway through covering my uh, kitchen in a bleachy fishy mess that I've had to spend the, the best part of the last two hours tidying up. Anyway it's all sorted now apart from the fact that I smell a little bit of bleach. No fish were harmed in the making of that anecdote, so we can carry on. Um, loads of great comments in the last episode, thank you, I'm so glad that you're enjoying this series. Uh, we have got some more Planet Coaster stuff, uh, in fact there'll be a Planet Coaster video gone up before this one does I think, or no, maybe tomorrow, I can't remember how I've laid it out. Uh, getting back into that, but this has been a real great sort of way for me to sort of still cr stretch my creativity, um, but you know, something a little bit new, so uh, looking forward to kind of running these both alongside Creativeverse as well, and maybe a few other games here and there, uh, but I'm really glad that you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. Uh, I've spent a little bit more time off camera just sort of figuring the game out a bit better, adding in some more mods and things like that, I'm trying to think what I've got to show you that I did. It's mostly up over here. Ah, here. So um, here there was a little bit of a dead space. Um, there was some, There was. if you look at the zones here, there was a commercial zone, we left a little bit of a blank spot here, so I thought I'm going to try and, uh, and build a little bit of something, something, so here, that's actually a park that we built, and I'm going to get some more of that, I built that one myself, but um, I found some on the Steam Workshop that basically makes some really nice looking um, parking lots, so that acts as a parking lot for the area, but it's also a park, so it's a little bit cheaty maybe, but uh, it just kind of caps that area off quite nicely, and then all these bits, I've added them in myself, the uh, the fencing and the bins around the back and everything, and, and I'm not going to go mega detailed, like every single block I'm going to do something like this, but little areas where there's gaps like that, just to make it a little bit more realistic, the other one I did was well, spent a little bit of time here with the high school, sort of boxing it all in to make it like, make a little bit more sense, so using some of this fencing along here, uh, a bit of advertising stuff here and there, and just sort of finishing off the area. The same with our little park. Now this isn't a park, as far as the game is concerned, it's just a little bit of space. Um, so we haven't... Oh, what's happened here? Ah, yes, there was a save file that I had to go back on. So I did put a few benches down here, but it doesn't look like it's carried over. That's fine, I can do that again later off camera. One bit I did want to do on camera um, was here, this park here, I've um, had a, a, put a little... Uh, uh, pedestrian crossing over to a little parking area here that I need to do a little bit more work on uh, but basically this is going to be the parking zone for the park because I've turned off parking around this here roundabout to make it a little bit more uh, realistic and also I've got some um, some asphalt decals that now cover the uh, you know, I've to move it on a sec you better say um, Oops, no, not, I didn't want to do that. Uh, that's what I want to move. You can move these. These are literally just lumps of paint. For some reason, they make the car parking go crazy. Uh, but these are just little lumps of paint that we can just use to cover up the um, the pedestrian crossings there. So I think with traffic precedence, you can actually turn the crossings off completely. So I've done that there, look. Um, so yeah, so 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 the only way pedestrians can get into this park is is on is this point here, which is good. And for the most part, it works, apart from the occasional car getting a bit freaky here. Look, um, people seem to have pocket cars in this game if they can't decide where they're parking, because uh, this doesn't act as parking. This is just printing. So here, look, she park. Oh, I think I left this little bit open to parking to see how it works, but. Re we shouldn't really be having people park on a roundabout, so I think we'll turn that off with traffic president. Uh, I think it was that one. Uh, oh, my word, maybe not. That one was it. Yeah, there we go. So we close the park in there, and she's now parked down there. So, yeah, so there's no parking on the roundabouts. That just means every time we put one of those in, I'll take it to do it. So, yeah, so basically, just sort of playing around, really, and figuring out what all the things do. And like I say, I've downloaded quite a few little um, various mods and things. It's just a case of putting them in. Now, um, so let's have a look. One I saw that I thought was really quite neat um, it was like a, uh, it will be here somewhere. I'm going to use the search function later on, but for now, oh, that one, no, that wasn't what I was looking for. Um, I have to search for it. It was like a, it was like a little diner. No, not a diner. What would you call it? Um, like a stall? No. It was like a little 
like a little like a little diner stall for want of a better words that, that would fit perfect here with a few benches around it um i don't believe it works i believe it's just uh oh, here yes a oh, grill there we go what's it actually called kiosk that was, that's the word i couldn't find so i thought we'd set this up here and uh, and have a bit of a uh bit of a sort of open park and there's some mag magazine uh stands as well so we have a couple of these there we go. And then, uh, what are you? You're just a little info kiosk. Oh, you might be nice at the front of the park. There we go. The rotation's a bit funky on this. So you can go here. There's like the entrance to the park area. That's great. And then we want some uh, benches to go outside of this grill. There's quite a nice sort of round one. Here we go. That one looks quite nice. And I think it sort of changes colours occasionally as well. But I don't mind that. Um... You know, this sort of thing probably they probably would be a bit uh bit varied varied colour and stuff, sort of random. I didn't want this area to be like real premium, you know. I quite like the idea of it being a you know, a bit naff, bit of bit of dirt around, bit of rubbish around. So for that reason actually there is a uh, a pretty cool dustbin, I believe. That we can have a search for. Um probably isn't called dustbin though, is it? Um see so there's loads of these all different buildings and stuff now as well that are, that are added on. Um, trash. There, that's the one I was looking for. The big dumpster that I could put around the back of here. To sort of have a, an area where uh, where the grill would throw its rubbish. Like so. And then we should probably have a, a one out the front as well for actual sort of punters to use. There we go. And that's just a nice little area. Like I said, I'm still really getting used to all this stuff, but... Uh, you know, for the most part, um, I think that's uh, that's pretty good. Uh, we've got all this sort of stuff on there now as well. And here, there's loads of different things we can draw on the ground. What are you meant to be? Destroyed road decal. Are you probably something like this would probably work under the seats? You're a little bit too intense. That one's pretty good. Um, you might work all right there. And do you look like no you're a bit too much as well there was a couple of good ones where it, where the, it shows bricks coming through um i think i wanted something like this so that's a bit long what about you yeah you're good here for a bit of parking like i say i think i can make that parking work but I haven't quite figured it out how to do it um, but it is doable. Anyway, that is enough detailing for now. We need, we're desperately in need of residential. So here's the plan. Then we're going to build a um, a second intersection here that comes down and and really sort of is the is the intersection for the industrial area. Which eventually I think I'd like to turn to offices and maybe move industrial a little bit out of the way because I don't really like the having the industrial area around um, so close. So this is full. Not much I can do about that. I have set up a second one. Uh, incinerators aren't available until we get to a few thousand more people, I think. Let's have a look. Um, four and a half thousand opens loads of roads. And I hope an incinerator. Let's have a look. Um, oh, no, it doesn't seem to be. Is it? Is it Big Town is incinerator instead? Let's have a look. Buildings. Incineration plant. Yeah, so we've got a little way, so we're going to have to build these up. But you can empty them into incineration, so that's not too bad, I guess. Um, yeah, so I'd like a, a highway coming off... Well, not highway, but like a, a, a bigger road coming off here that works its way down. Um, and But I would also like an avenue that runs along the front here that we will turn eventually into like a, like a touristy or like a nightlife district that then has a ferry over to this island here. Hmm. So I'm not 100% sure how that's going to go yet. Uh, once somebody did point out that if I carry this road straight, it's going to just clip the edge of this uh, area. But that's fine. It doesn't actually have to go straight. We can we can put a little bit of a curve into it. So let's carry that down first. We've got a fair bit of money to be working on. Um, so we'll do this straight up. There we go. Um, but we'll turn this on and we'll have a really long curve. So we'll go... Somebody also pointed out that these lines are 10 and when they appear is 5. So that's 5, that's 10, that's 15, which is fantastic. Really great way of uh, remembering that. So thank you for pointing that out. So we'll go 30. And we'll go another 30. Um, like so. We'll give it a 1... 
I'd like to be able to probably snap that. Oh, can we not? Oh, I'll kind of snap the 180 and I'm guessing 90. Yeah, somewhere in between would be good. But never mind, we'll do it. We'll do it by eye. We'll do it at 160. There we go. Because what we are going to have to do is do the same this side. Um. Oh, that's going to be actually be a little bit shorter, won't it? Like that. That's pretty good. Yeah, okay. Happy with that. So we'll keep you running down. I don't really know what's going to happen with that. I mean, eventually, I can't even see where the next motorway is. I guess it's up there. So, you know, we, we could eventually take that up there. But for now, that'll uh, that'll do. And in fact, this is, uh, is three-way. So we might eventually turn this into three-way as well. Make it an actual full-on highway. Um, yeah, we might do that in the future. But uh, yeah, the other thing we need to do is, is carry on. Carry on an avenue down here that kind of deals with uh, deals with the um, with the industrial area. So let's do that. Should we do an avenue or should we keep? Should we do more something like this, a bit more industrial? I don't know. I think doing that though is really going to limit us what we do down the front. So I think we will have an avenue. So which ones were we using? Uh, we oh we got the ones with the bus lanes there. Um, so let's have a look. Medium roads, are they classed as medium roads? Let's have a look. Four lane. Have we just not got the avenues open yet? The actual, their large avenue with bus lanes, they're not actually open yet. So for now, then, we'll have a four lane road with an intersection, because then it gives us a bit of scope for either adding a tram or, or something like that. I would like a tram running through the town at some point. So let's, uh, let's sort of box this out then. Right, I'll tell you what, we will make this, this will become the road that runs along the front and we'll have a big intersection that comes straight down into the industrial area here as well. So that, that, that's what we'll do. We'll have a big island, there'll be one exit going down to industrial, one going down to the nice uh, front, of the, uh, front of the area. So I've decided, let's go. So we need, uh, we need our one way roads and we need to come up a bit, which I believe is mm, sh mm, shift, no. Uh, is it that? No, that's just the step. Okay, how do we... Uh, elevation 4 metres, no. Is it page up? Yes, there we go. Right, so we'll come 12 metres up, which I think is pretty good. Let's have a look and compare that to a truck. Yeah, 12 metres looks pretty much okay. Uh, we're going to build a perfectly round circle above this, and then we'll figure out how it connects. So two-way is probably a little uh, a little light. Is there a three-way, one-way one, one -way road? Uh, no, you go straight to four. Monorail tracks. Asymmetrical, that's the new one. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna, we'll do it with this one for now. We can always look back at upgrading it in the future. So let's... Um, Put you there, and we'll build an eight by eight by eight. Oh, that's freak, isn't it? Uh, by oops, eight. Oh, we can't quite do it because the motorway's there. Okay, let's um, let's turn snapping off a minute. Just no. Okay, let's go this way instead. See how we got on this way. Eight by eight, you can do it, that's good. Eight. I mean it's it's just because of that little bit of road there, so we're gonna have to take it out. Just for now until we finish building this. Eight by eight by eight by eight. So you should be perfectly circular. And you are fan dabby dozy. So this is gonna be our first sort of major uh, major breakthrough. We want to. Can we right click to make it all go the same way? We can. So let's have a think. We want it to go. Because one thing I didn't do is put this on left hand drive, annoyingly. So I need to kind of think outside the box. There we go. That's now going the right way. Okay, good. So let's replace this highway for a moment. Uh, 
Is it you? Six? No, not six lane. Oh, I'm really sorry, folks. It's taken me a while to find this sort of stuff. Have we not got the road to build? Can we not build this highway yet? Oh, no, it's you, isn't it? There we go. Two lane highway. Two, what? Two way highway. I just want the one that's there. Highway. There we go. It's slightly different um, look for some reason. Uh, I put in the slightest. No, you're not going to let me, are you? Because of you. Ach. All right, let's go back a little bit further then. Hmm. I'm going to have to go that way as well. I mean, we'll take it right. We're going to take it right back to there. Okay, so we'll build you here. And hopefully. That's enough. No, it's just going to put the same curve in that was there already, isn't it? So we're going to have to... Okay, let's, let's, um, let's freeform it. I mean, that's ugly as hell. But it gets the job done. So let's now just go back to there. Make that a little bit more of a comfier turn. Okay, so that's not too bad. I mean, that's a little janky there, but that's not too bad. And then this one, do you have to come in a little? Oh, no, you're you're okay. Okay, so it's just you. So again, we'll probably have a little bit more of a play with that off-camera to just really neaten it off. I mean, you can even sort of bring, move it in here and, you know, sort of tweak it a little. Uh, you know, like this, doing this sort of thing. That's fine. Uh, we have anarchy on, which means we have to move, uh, move these out the way. Won't bother people, it's just annoying me that they're there. And you. Okay. I think that's. Oh no, that's not it at all. There's loads in the way. Uh, okay. Maybe turn prop anarchy off whilst doing intersections is a better idea for the future. Okay. And a couple over here as well. I'm sure, bring some in the middle. I kind of want to keep the trees, you know, I think they look make it look a bit more natural. Go pull you out a little bit more. Okay, great. We'll probably have to do that again once we uh, once we add some exit ramps in. Uh, okay, so let's go for a re that's this is called Travis Bridge. We'll go for a relatively standard exit and entrance pattern here. I think so. Let's go back to our two-way, one-way roads, and we'll come. The space already occupied. Okay, well, I just want to kind of... Okay, that's done it that way. And then we'll bring it back on. Can we? There, I, I have had something... Oh, is it that one, is it? I've got, I've got something installed called, like, Road Anarchy, which I'm assuming is what's just done <laughs> that, which is horrific. Um, so we, 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 we won't do that. We can't actually get rid of it now, can we? Okay, so we'll get rid of you. Uh, let's instead carry on the four-way road down here. Page down. If we go to the to one, we get this. So it doesn't actually put that slope in, does it? Oh, yeah, it does, actually. Oh, that's a really nice slope. That's loads better, because uh, some playthroughs have been watching. The, uh, the road slopes are a little bit... Um, well, intense, for want of a better word. So let's just turn prop anarchy off a second. I think that's that. I think I've done that now. Okay, so let's put a curve in. And we'll come down to uh, here and then round like so. Bringing it down to zero. Yep, yeah, there. Like, uh, like that. And then carry now. We haven't really got a line we can straighten it up with. So I'm not too worried. But we're actually going to bring you. What's that? 27. Okay. And then you will. That will carry on down there eventually. I need to maybe turn prop anarchy off so as it gets rid of these trees, don't, don't I? So let's go to options. Prop and tree cannon. Oh, they're always on. That's what I've done. 
Uh, so shift and P. There we go. I'll, I'll remember that. So now I think if I do shift and P, uh, shift and P like that, and put a road in, it will actually get rid of the trees. Ah, yes. Oh, and it's done it all for that one as well. Okay, good. Um, pull down you for now. Great. Okay, so. Oh, annoyingly, I don't think I can move you, can I? Until you're empty, I can't move you, which is irritating. I like this up here. Let's, uh, while, while Anarchy's off, can we, can we click in here to upgrade the trees? There we go. So I'll take all the, I'll just add buses to get rid of the trees and then take them off again. There we go, because we don't want buses on there at all. Okay, great. So we need to we need to move these power plants slightly, and uh, and carry this road here, Sycamore Street, down to here. It's going to be a little bit messy until we can get rid of that, uh, but that's uh, that's fine. Let's just bring you over to this side for now. Shouldn't make too much difference, I don't believe. You've still got water. You've still got power. Well, you are power, so should be happy enough about that. Okay, so roads, two-way road. Um, I think we need to make this road a bit bit more of something. So let's do a let's do a yeah, let's do let's do a one-way road. And let's have one way on and one way off. So we can do We're not going to be able to go around there, are we? Let's have a try. Okay, so this might be doable. Let's bring it down to four there. Oh, we can turn that snapping off for a minute. Is that what we have to do, is turn those off? Yes, there we go. That's much more like what I wanted to do. Okay, bear that in mind for next time. Four, this will probably cut off all of the uh, power, awfully. And you're going to make a bit of a mess there. There. And then, I mean, with anarchy on, I mean, okay, it's a bit messy, but for now, we're going to be moving this as soon as we can anyway. So, and then we'll just have a straight line there. Okay, so to get into the area, you've got to come down to this junction and in. To get out of the area, you need to try and nip through here if possible. Looks like we can because of our anarchy, but maybe not normally, but that's fine. So we're going to have to take you underneath here. Okay, let's carry on. Um, let's just snap the angles for a minute and bring you here. Let's see if we can... Oh, it's, oh, we need to be on the right side of the road, don't we? So I'm still thinking British driving. Uh, yeah, which just mean that you have to cross over the traffic to get in. Okay, never mind. We'll, we'll go for it. It's my British head messing us up um, and then lifting us up. Oh, and you get these really funky curves. It's really what I'd like is it to just slip on rather than doing it this way. Let's turn the angle off. Turn it down a little. There. And then. Okay. All right, well, that's not too bad. There's traffic lights here, which there shouldn't be. So I'm going to have to have a little play around with traffic uh, manager, aren't we? So. I think it's this one, traffic presidents, whatever it's called. Okay, so these, no, you're fine. This one is what I want. Okay, so you go right there, and you also go right there. All right. So that should have got rid of some of the lights, but it hasn't, okay. Um. 
Yeah, well, there should be lights here because you, you're just, you're going to feed to the right. You're going to go straight over. You're going to go straight down. So there should, there's no reason for traffic lights here at all. It's just this needs to be given away. So how do we turn them off? Uh, oh, my God. Um, I don't know what half of this does. Uh, oh, there's traffic lights. Okay. Oh, that's, is it you tying traffic lights? No, we don't. We just want to turn them off. Uh, change lane arrows. Manual. Switch traffic lights. Is that it? Ah, there we go. We can just turn them off. So now you've got, yeah, speed limits. And just need to figure out the junction restrictions. You can't you can't cross over there. That's ridiculous. Or there, um, there should be a way of being able to select give way. I think. I'm sure, I did that when I was playing around. Ah, is it that one? Yeah. So your give way, and you've both got yes. There we go. Okay, I think so. That's our, that's our feeder back off the motorway done. Uh, it's a bit funky. I'll have a little play around with that to make it a bit smoother. So now if you come in out of the uh, junction, you come this way, up here and on. If you're coming into industrial, you come down here and left at that junction there. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is actually get the on and off sorted up here. At the moment, we've got this awful thing that I didn't mean to do at all. I might even... I don't want to take you that far back. Okay, let's try with with some simple uh, on-off ramps. Now we can use. There is a highway on-off ramp, isn't there? Actually, let's try that. See if that gives us slightly better results. I just, it's, I just don't get how it figures it out. You know. Okay, let's try that. Whoops. I mean, okay, <laughs> that's fine, but it's not great, is it? Let's try that one again. Um, this is the sort of thing I'm going to have to do off camera and really sort of get my head around, I think, because, no, I want you to be curved. Uh, there we go. Okay, that's a bit better. It's still not perfect, but that's a bit better. So, I mean, really, that should be a really nice V down to this junction, perhaps, even. Yeah, that actually, that's probably what I'm trying to do and not realising it. So let's just get rid of you and you and you. So we'll bring you up to here, to there, and then out of here to there. What what does that do? Ew. No, it was. It looked better before, didn't it? Okay, let's quickly go back. Again, sorry about this. We will figure it all out. Look at that weird junction there. I will figure all this out eventually. Let's try and get more to the middle of it there. Like that. Okay, cool. Okay, you've, we've completely messed up that junction. We need to start saving in between bits, don't we? <laughs> uh, let's do... The motorway on off. That seems to work quite well. And on. Okay. Oh, well, that looks a bit better that time. Okay. So now we need to just do a bit of traffic management work here. Oh, we need to actually get people off the motorway as well, don't we? Uh, which they're not doing currently. So let's do that. Let's go way back to here to do that nicely. Oops. Careful. There we go. Okay, that's about as smooth as we're going to get it, I think. I'm not too sure we've got the height to get up to here. Let's have a look. Is it going to make it quite drastic? Whoa! <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, let's just take that back a little. We're going to have to <laughs> try from a little bit further back. Can we just right off the bridge now, then, instead? How's that? Uh, let's turn... Let's turn snapping off a little... There, perfect. So now we've got plenty of room. Actually, not quite good enough, but it's it'll do. Uh, I keep pressing space because sna space is there. Uh, toggle, toggle on and off. Um, oh, it's still really awful. 
Is it just because I'm just trying to do too much in one in one go? I think what actually ha needs to happen is this little bit near here needs to start raising straight away. So let's try there and go page up. Yeah, let's let's start you raising up straight away. It's still not ideal, but it looks better. And then we'll do a little bit more up to six. And then last bit up to 12. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> uh, okay, let's just... If, there's only, if only there was a smooth button. Like a smooth out the road button. Okay, that's a little better. Okay, that'll do for now again. I'm, I'm going to have to little play with these roads to make them work properly. Uh, and then we need a way on as well, down on this side. So, what is going on here? Ah, oh, there's oh, that bit of road that we put in is the wrong way around. That's fine. Um, we can upgrade to highway and right click. Yes, there we go. I figured that out. Good stuff. Okay, so now let's, uh, let's go back to you. Go. Basically, we're going to go right down here to four. And then this last little bit can dip us on. There we go. Again, it gives us a little bit of a funky kink there, but it just gives us a slightly more natural entrance onto the, uh, to the road there. So again, we probably move it. There's probably things we can do to make it a little, uh, little nicer. I don't know what that is. I'm moving. Oh, it's the actual, uh, actual bit of road. There we go. That's a bit better. Well, not really, but never mind. Uh, okay, good. So that's on and off for that one side of the road. We need to add on and off for the other side of the road as well. So we'll kind of. Try and uh, whoops. Try and do it the same. Sort of height coming in. Okay, again, it's. I mean, from top down, it's not looking too bad. For on the sides, any uh, any sort of ideas on how I can improve <laughs> my awful wobbly roads would be great. I think the idea is to do them in one go. But even that is a bit clunky. I think it's just we need a bit more space. I think we've probably just tried to build this a bit too close to that bridge, unfortunately. But, but, saying that, I'm pretty sure from a game point of view, people can now get on and off the motorway down into the industrial area and not bother with the traffic over there. So let's just have a little double check. You can come on here and around. Uh, yeah, or you can go, or you can carry on the motorway and, and get back on again if you want to, or you can turn around and come back. That's great. Coming up here, we need to just do a bit of work with a uh, traffic president here, so to speak, and turn off the off the lights here. Uh, everything else it seems to have saved. Maybe it hasn't, but we can put it in. So you go there, you go there. Uh, you guys both go straight on either way, so that's fine. And then the and then give way. Was that you? Uh, yes, give way. There we go. Okay, so at the in and out, is a, it's funky as hell, but I think the in and out works. Let's unpause and see what's going on. Speed it up a little bit and see if people actually start using this weird ass road. Have we got everything the right the right way round? You're coming on. You're going on. Yeah. Okay. Okay, seems to be. I mean, it takes a little while for the for the um, traffic to catch up because at the moment what they're doing is they're getting off at he they're getting off here and coming down here. So hopefully this will calm down. And in fact, let's while it's doing it, let's put traffic on and have a look. What should happen is this should get less red um, as time goes on, and hopefully this this area should go a little bit more red. But of course, people coming from the uh, from the places of work will head down here as well. But I'm hoping it 
well, it doesn't seem to be doing much, does it? I don't know how long it takes. Maybe it takes a day or two to figure it out. But you know what? I think... Yeah, it looks... Yeah, it does. It looks like it's getting lighter. And down here, where, where, they, act, where they get back onto the traffic, seems to be, uh, to be getting a bit busier. So let's just have a look if we've got this set up right. Yeah, feeder lane. Yeah, that's right. It's not stopping the actual traffic on the highway. People are coming off. Coming down to here. Taking a left turn and going to wherever they're going. Usually the coal plant, I imagine. And then... People are coming out. I want to see somebody go up here. Yes, yes, yes. Two lorries then. And they're off. Okay, I, do you know what? I, I would say that is a... It's not a success at all. Look, the traffic is still dead busy here and here. How strange. I wonder if I can find out a little bit more specifically. See, that might be the problem, that the buses both come down those lanes. Okay, what might need to happen is... It does that. What might need to happen is that changes a little. Because at the moment, every single bus that's on the map goes straight through these two big big sections so i think that that could be an issue um with traffic as well but this is working and that's uh, that's the most important thing and it sets us up for the future as well you know so now i mean obviously we'll we will have a better go at laying it all out nicely once i've figured my the hell the game works out but overall it set us up for the future we'll now have a not be able to do a nice living long road down this way we're going to have um you know an avenue going in direct uh, you know, to these ones. In fact, I might even bring a third avenue down here. That was something else somebody pointed out in the comments that I think is probably a sound idea. Um, so we'll do that with the next one as well. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, pop them down in the comments. And if you fancy chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at Sparrow. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.